Aid agencies inside Somalia have in recent days faced stiff challenges due to violent attacks by insurgents targeting their operations and staff. The heavy fighting between Somali government troops and armed militia groups has left the country in a desperate situation as most international aid agencies have suspended food distribution among other humanitarian activities because of the danger posed by the current instability in the war-torn country. The SOS Mother and Child Hospital was set up two decades ago to cater for the health needs of women and children free of charge as most of the Somali residents could not afford to pay for medical care. Patients have been known to travel up to 400 kilometers to receive treatment at the hospital. <laughs> The main SOS Children's Hospital has remained closed since October 2011 due to insecurity. For now, 200 women and 450 children attend this temporary facility daily where SOS medical staff cope as best they can. Amidst the heightened insecurity, mothers like Deka Musa still make their way to the hospital. She has traveled for days, desperate to find a cure for her son who suffers a wasting condition. Prior to the relocation, SOS Hospital catered for over 130,000 women and children and delivered about 5,000 babies every year. But due to increased fighting in the region, SOS has had to function as an emergency hospital treating not only victims of famine, but victims of war. Restricted humanitarian space is a concern to the European Commission, one of the largest donors of humanitarian aid in Somalia. If more and more agencies are being restricted or banned or cannot implement, we will have less capacity to implement programs in South Central Somalia. In 2011, we have come up with some quite innovative ways of delivering aid, but it's clearly a it's really not an, an easy, easy environment, as, and as the example with the SOS hospital that, that suddenly became on the front line, it's very di difficult to predict war and, and exactly where the warring fractions or parties may move or may not move or may stop. And suddenly we had a hospital right on the front line. Today, the greatest casualties of Mogadishu's front line are women and children who can only hope for a better future. Yeah.